made it to gloomy city where it's always raining and nothing ever goes right. So today we are going to be checking out this sodden place because I imagine everyone is pretty soaking wet right now. I mean, why do they just stand out here in the rain all day? That sounds miserable, but who am I to judge? It rains almost year round in Stormy City. We're near the ocean and the cold air from Mount Stratus and the warm air from the tropics collide right above us. Wow, so this game is actually making sense as to why it rains all the time. It's not just some weird supernatural phenomenon. Wow, I don't know if my brain can handle this right now. Oh, it looks like this girl's in timeout. She's too short to open the fridge. How is that even possible? The handle's like a foot above the ground. She must be like six inches tall. It's Thumbelina. Thumbelina confirmed. Yes, yes, go, 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 touchdown! Uh, so it looks like there is football, or American football, I should say, in the Pokemon world. Sort of interesting, I wonder... Well, I guess that was confirmed back in the first Pokemon movie, because Ash mentioned the Vikings. It's pretty funny. Have you challenged Leaf? From what I've seen, he's an excellent grass-type trainer. Oh! I forgot to show you guys. Off-screen, I trained up my Growlithe here. He is level 32. Mufasa, he learned, uh... He learned Flame Wheel. So he can do a barrel roll while on fire, which makes it even more epic. So yeah, he's got Flame Wheel, Ember, Leer, and Takedown. He's level 32. I also went back to Sea Spray Town, I believe it was, and I bought a Firestone. So he is prime and ready to evolve whenever. I'm not really sure when I'll do it. I mean, Growlithe learns Flamethrower earlier, I guess, but it's not until level 49. I mean, I don't know what moves... Arcanine even learns. I don't think he learns many moves. But I assume there will be some sort of uh, fire type TM somewhere along the road. But anyway, I'm just standing here uh, talking where it rains Meowth and Arcanine. Hey, what a coincidence. I might have an Arcanine soon someday. And that's pretty clever. I like that. It's not safe to be outside during a storm. Why are people walking around? Why are you walking around? I guess she's trying to warn everyone. Dr. Friendship. Oh, goodness. This sounds like one of those guys who has his own show on TV. He's like, I'm Dr. Friendship. I'm going to help you fix up all your personal problems in front of a live studio audience. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Friendship, a specialist in assessing a Pokemon's happiness. Looks like you've only been spending a little time with your Growlithe. The only remedy is more time. And you can't buy time, so... Just keeps passing and stuff. Oh, look, a happy couple. I hate it when I see happy couples. It makes me sad inside. Hey, do you see it? The Toonod League is just across Stormy Strait. But most trainers go the long way around the main island of Toonod and through Darkwood Town. I'm assuming that's the way I'll have to go too, unless I can just jump out there and swim. I can just make out Trainer Isle. I'd be thrilled to go there one day. Well, you won't ever get there if you continue standing out here in the storm where you might get struck by lightning. Ooh, is that a fisher dude? I don't know why I just walked in and walked out. This city sucks. I can't fish at all because those fish only come out on sunny days. Here, take this to bring out the sun whenever you wish. So we get TM sunny day to sweep the clouds away. I guess we're on our way to where the air is sweet. But I need someone to tell me how to get to Sesame Street. I love living here. It rains every day. You can actually use rain to your advantage in a Pokemon battle. Here, take this. So this is a rainy day, I guess. So you can make it, you can make it rain, make it rain, I'll make it rain, and you can also make it sun. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like Groudon and Kyogre just doing all this stuff. A lot of housewives grumble about boiling water, but I never complain. Do you know why? It's because I have Pokemon with Scald. Do you want me to teach one of your Pokemon to move Scald? Ooh, can... Actually... Oh, never mind. I guess I'll just have to... <laughs> want to have spaghetti in mere seconds. That sounds pretty nice, instant spaghetti. I'll have to remember to come back here when I have a water type. You'd think with all this rain, we could find at least one puddle to jump in. <laughs> well, are they referencing the fact that there are no puddles in this game? That is funny. That is funny! You can only buy Pokeballs here, but in North Coast Town you can buy stronger Pokeballs. 
Ah, uh, so they only sell Pokeballs here. I don't know, they sell Great Balls. I think that guy's mistaken a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh wait, he got, he has Amnesia. I don't know why I almost said Gots, but. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful striped fur ruined by this rain. Look away, I'm hideous. That reminds me of something, but I'm not sure what. So we got a socialite centered over there. Worried about his fur and stuff. So here's leader a leaf or a life. I think it's a leaf. Because that would make sense. It would be a grass pun. So, um, is that all there? Oh, there's something down here. The building with a blue roof. House is the only submarine ferry in Tunod. Since the weather is so stormy, it's safer to travel underneath the water. Ah, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Trainer Isle is paradise for trainers. There are two towers, each with several challenges. Do you have what it takes to beat them all? I don't know, do I? Oh, you you just let me walk past, okay. So I can go to Trainer Isle? Well, you know what? I might actually want to do that before I go to the gym, because it'll be a little bit tough. I don't know if you even get experience here, because this guy's talking about BP. Which you only get in, like, the Battle Frontiers and stuff, where you don't get, uh... You don't get, a uh, like, actual experience or anything. I brought a pretty headband with my BP, but then I found out it's for Pokemon. I'm sure you can wear it anyway. It'll be a fashion statement. I mean, they're bringing back Romper Suit, so why not Pokemon headbands? I'm just no good at this battling stuff. Maybe I'll try contests instead. Okay, I guess that'll work. I hear the gym leaders show up in one of the challenges, but I haven't seen them yet. So is this a thing you have to be high level to do? Home of the Endurance Challenge. Oh, uh, wait, let me see what this one is. This is, a uh, one of the singles, doubles, and rapid fire challenges. Well, I'm single, so I guess I'll go in here. Sniff. Tower 1 is more suited for standard battles, while Tower 2 has somewhat more specialized battles. Which do you like more? Each tower is nine stories tall. I may be an alpinist, but I'm still going to take the elevator if I want to get to the top. Wow, slacking on your duties. Can you buy stuff here? Oh, you get uh, stuff from 4 BP, and you can get all that stuff. That's pretty cool. How about you? What do you sell? Oh, you've got all the good stuff here, okay. Might be some stuff that I would need, like that. Leftovers. I think it's so funny how it's like an apple core. Uh, might as well try... Wait, what? What the heck just happened? Uh... Wait just a second, let me see what's going on here. Sorry about that, guys. That was a... Uh, sort of weird glitch. I guess you'll find those every now and again in these ROM hacks, but the screen went all black when I sort of sped through the healing process at that Nurse Joy right there, so not going to be doing that again. So anywho, let's uh, sort of go through here and see what we can do in this tower. Probably won't check out this place in depth until later because my Pokemon aren't really all that strong right now. I'd rather have strong team members to do all this battling stuff. This is the floor for standard singles battles. Most trainers start here for their trainer IO challenges. So I guess I can try this out before I continue on with uh, Stormy City. You have to beat standard singles at least once in order to challenge tough singles. You only win one BP per battle on this floor, but it's the best I can do as an angler. <laughs> Yep, he has all Water-type Pokémon that get destroyed, so, um... Might as well put Prescott out to the front, because he's the strongest dude I've got. So let's take this on. Hello, welcome to the Standard Singles Challenge. Would you like to participate? Yes, I am a very standard single, and I can do this challenge. Unless she wants to be my... Oh, yeah, unless this chick behind me me wants to be my girlfriend, then I would get to go to the doubles. Haha. <laughs> Hi, I see you're wearing shorts. Am I? I? I didn't think I was wearing shorts, but whatever. I'm wearing shorts in real life, so I guess this game is like, it can see beyond the screen. Sort of weird. So we've got a Mighty Annie here, and it appears I keep my level even though this guy's a level 30, so that's sort of weird. 
I'll screech this mighty Anna, and oh, it's gonna swagger. Okay, I see how it is. I'm gonna go for the earthquake here. Boom! It hits. Let's see how much this does. Annihilated. There we go. Good job, Prescott. And I guess we do get experience from here. That's pretty cool. So uh, we can switch Pokemon as well. So that's that's something. Let's go over to Myrtle here. Take care of this Linoon. Might as well confuse it right off the bat. We don't want to deal with this thing. And I guess Thunderbolt is my only real move I can use. And it's got Odor Sleuth, of course. At least I paralyzed it. And now it can hit me with normal type moves. That's fantastic. There we go. So it's really nice that you get, uh... You get experience from this. It makes it a whole lot more worth it than the other battles. And let's see, I'll go for an Ember on you on this Furret. It's just going to keep using Defense Curl for some reason. I'm not sure why, but to each their own. Boom. Four hits. That's something, isn't it? I'm so old and noon. This guy has all Pokemon that are weak to fighting. And I have a fighting type, but his only move is one that I can't really use. So that is just too bad. Earthquake this little dude, and quick attack for the finish! The KO, and another for it. Wow. So many elongated, fuzzy, normal types. I don't understand it. And another Mighty Anna. Wow. This is the most original team I've ever seen. Oh, goodness. It's a Thunderbolt U. For the KO, and there we go. We defeated Landon. Yep, you indeed lost again. So, we get one BP, and we get to decide if we'll go on or retire. This would be a good way to train because uh, you can just keep going, I assume, and you get experience for each one, but I'm going to retire. That's all I'm going to do on screen because I'm sure you don't want to see me do that the whole time. So we'll just head down the elevator, because we didn't get to check that out. We'll go to the first floor, and... Wow, that took a long time to get to the first floor. Maybe this is a really tall building or something. I don't know, but we're going to head back to uh, Stormy City. I almost said Stormy Isle. Not going to Stormy Isle. That's not even a place that exists. So this is the Pokemon Adoption Clinic. This is the only place we haven't really been here. So I guess all these are orphans. Cake sniffing orphans in the orphans shack. Zangus and myself are best friends. I want to be adopted only by someone who would take us both in. I'll take you both in. Okay, so he says the same thing. I guess there are soulmates, best bros. Hmm, you just seem different than other people. Yes, I can work with that. Will you adopt me? Hmm, do I need a grass type? Ah, oh, sure, I can't resist. Oh, no, I have to make room. Hi there, they call me Mudkip. To be honest, I'd really like to be adopted by a sweet little girl. Maybe she'll put bows in my fin. That'd be the best. So we got a girly girl Mudkip right here. It's pretty cool. And I can make some room right here, I guess. Uh, let's see who I even have in my party. I might switch around Pokemon in my party, to be honest. I sort of want to use this guy just because he's so lonely staying here all by himself. I'll put you right there, and I'm going to adopt this girl vial. So I assume if like you're the boy character, you get to adopt the, the girl vial, and if you're the girl, you get the mudkip or something. I don't know. Hmm. So, yes. I will adopt you, sir. I would like to give you a nickname. I'm gonna nickname you... Oh, jeez. What would be a good name for a girl vial? Alright, so I named this little guy Paladin because... He has those leaf blades on his arms that sort of look like swords, and plus he's my pal. We're pals for life, right, Paladin? So, let's check him out, actually. Let's see. 
It's a quirky nature. Stormy City. A 51 special attack. Not bad. Do I have anything he can learn, though? Let me see. I have uh, all these. I Could he learn Dragon Claw? I know he can when he is fully evolved. Well, no, I guess not. And I don't think he can learn any of those other ones either, so... Wait, did I talk to the dudes? Oh, yeah. Ever since we received it as a Trico. Good luck to you both. So, that's nice. And I don't think I talked to this guy. That's pretty cool. I really like that. That is a neat idea. And we're getting into the territory in this game where I have never played it before. I had played up to this gym and a little bit past, maybe, but... But that's it. So, uh... This is all new territory for me, and I am liking it, but... We've done a lot of stuff so far, and... We're getting up there in the time counter down there, so... I say we end it off for today. Next time, we are going to be heading into the gym here and taking on Leaf, because we are going to turn over a new Leaf. I will see you all next time on Pokemon Glade.